I'm Valerie, and today we're unboxing the Scary Godmother doll. When I saw the package today, even though I got an email the other day saying that they had been shipped, they had all been shipped out to the Kickstarter backers, I did not make the connection until I read the return address. And I got very excited because she's here. Yay! There's your little box shaped like a house. Oh my god, this is so cute! And there she is, all wrapped up safe in lots of bubble wrap. You know, you gotta pop, pop a couple of them, right? Here we go, it's taped at the bottom. There we go. Your very own scary godmother. And look how cute she is! Comes with your very own boozle. Look, it's me! Jill's art. And there's a little window on the side. Hey there, booze and ghouls! You loved her in comics, books, and on stage and screen. Now you've got your very own scary godmother and the boozle! Hooray! And Jill did all this illustration in 2012. Gosh, this is taking. Also includes creepy couture accessories. Alrighty, how does this puppy open? This is definitely a box I want to keep nice, so let's see. Looks like we've got tabs in the roof here and here. Here. And here. Be careful, careful, careful. Ah! No, 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 no. No tear box. No tear box. Tear box bad. How do you work? Oh, there it is. There's another tab. Another tab up top. And pull this tab without tearing it because we don't want to tear it. And now the roof is open. Open these little flaps. And out she comes. I think. Maybe. There we go. Scary godmother. And the boozle. Here she is. Oh my god, look at all of this tape. Yeah, she's a fashion doll, all right. All the tape! Tick, 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 and lots of twist times. Yeah, da, 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 da. So many twist times. She is, like many dolls, very securely held in her box. Okay, little boozle, let's get you free. Who's a boozle ghost kitty? That is so cute. I love the fact that boozle, the little ghost kitty, has his handy dandy little carrying handle that she can hold him by. You know, never to tie a witch by her ankles. Ugh. Twist her catching in her hair. Another one around her hat, but never ends. It is wrapped around the stand. Alrighty, little wings. Go. I know this from Jill's various uh, updates. Her getting these wings to work right was a bear and a half. Got a little slit in the back of her bodice here that you can put them through like a buttonhole. Put the wings in her back. Is that the right one? That's the right one. All right, well, this is definitely the biggest challenge with this doll is convincing the wings that they want to attach to her back with the fabric of the dress in the way. I'm doing surgery here. Just trying to get the wings to attach. There's a hole. And there's another hole. And there's a little thingy that goes in both holes. Holding the thing in place. Here's the stand. Cute little 
scary godmother. Cute little bags. Little trick or treat bag there. She has a selection of adorable accessories and bags to carry. So you can see I did finally convince her little wings to go through the holes in the dress and securely into her back. It was mostly a matter of getting them into getting them inserted at the right angle so that they would stay, which was easier to do once I had the camera off and picked her up, so that was not that difficult. Um, just be patient, we'll find. So that's the back of her. She has a lot of hair. It's very soft. It's definitely not a play doll. I think her hair would get fuzz, become a giant horrible fuzz ball very quickly if she were to be played with at all. So that's something, you know, the, the box says adult collector doll, right? Recommended for ages 14 and up. Um, I think if you have a child who collects dolls and knows how to take care of non-play dolls, less than 14 is probably okay. I started collecting dolls when I was about seven and I think if I had been given this doll when I was like 10 or so, I would have been able to keep her nice because I was in the habit of those dolls went in the shelf and the play dolls were played with and that's how it worked. You can see she's very well jointed. Shoulder, it's ball and socket joint. Good elbow joints, hips, knees, ankles. Her head moves well. She moves at the waist. So fully ball jointed doll. It's got three cute little bags. They're kind of they're a little chintzy, but they're cute. Scary godmother, Boozle Kitty. Suitably translucent, ghostly Boozle Kitty. Who, by the way, Boozle Kitty has the little carrying handle on his back, but the handle does not fit in Scary Godmother's hand. So I am not exactly certain how one carries the Boozle, or who carries the Boozle. Perhaps this Boozle carries himself, but that's just another thing to note. But overall, very pleased, totally worth the wait. To get your very own, go to thescarygodmother.com and click on store. They are available now. You don't have to wait as long as the Kickstarter backers did. One more doll in Val's personal doll army. And until next time, bye bye